direction you were going with it, but when we were, when we were in the discussion about um, a multiplier, whether we have a multiplier with a minimum or whether we have a strict minimum, and, and what I heard you say was that if we have an application that comes before us, we can review it at that time. That's not correct, is it? I mean, if someone gets to the point of bringing an application, aren't they held to the standards that are on the books at the time? It's still, it's up to the commissioners at that point. It comes back to the commissioners, and we have, we can... But you can't go back and change an, change an ordinance and we, say, we oh, by the way, we're changing the rules. And that isn't in everything. That, that's, if you look in, in the uh, ordinance, a lot of things will say it's, it's, uh, it'll go to the commissioners, it's up to the commissioners. And, and there are certain, I, I'd have to talk to Dave on that, but there are certain things when, when, a, when it does come back, when somebody uh, proposes a project, it goes to the plan commission again, but it, it also has to go through the commissioners. The commissioners have responsibilities to that to make sure that the decommissioning plan is, is right. That's one of the, the situations. Um, and uh, I think transportation, transportation plans, we, communication we, yeah, plan, yeah, all of yeah. those. Okay, as far, well, and, we would, maybe I misspoke on, on the, that's, that's cut and dry as far as the six. Well, that's what I'm wondering is if, if, if somebody comes in, yeah. do you have that option that you can say, oh, well, this is our minimum standard in our ordinance, but now you're going to have to do something yeah. worse no, than, you know, something sure more than that. There were other commissioners here. If they could um, uh, uh, amend the I, I don't ordinance, know. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. There would always be amendment. What, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It would, too. Yeah. I, I um, as a matter of fact, this morning, I'm looking at some Benton County stuff, and they've already amended their ordinance. They've already done it. I mean, I mean, already by 2009. I mean, mm -hmm. not not like today. Mm -hmm. So it can. And I think you know, Patty and I were driving along yesterday, and and we're absolutely on the border. We've got uh, we've got Benton and White counties on our left, and we're in Jasper and Newton, you know, and we're we're looking at these things, which really provoked a lot of. A conversation and, and and I think the point that I've made to these guys and I don't want to belabor this point but it's true I, I said Don Amber may have come to the conclusion five or ten years down the road that wind power is not a bad thing you know it's been ruled out there's no there's no syndrome there's you know flickers not an issue we have new equipment blah 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 I think it would be relatively easy to go back and massage the ordinance that way rather than say, oh, you want to put a 700-foot tower up and we've got uh, 1,200 feet set back to the, to the house. I, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's hard to clamp down, but it's a lot easier to back off if, 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 if it's proven. But the biggest thing, and, 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 I'll, and I'll end with this, is, is again, I told Dave Sulis and I told everybody this. I just don't want to be the guinea pig. It's just really that easy. I don't want to be the guinea pig. I know there's a lot of studies out there. You've read them. I've read them. You can believe part of it. You can't believe part of it. So let's just let's just wait and see what really comes down the road. I just don't want our citizens to be the guinea pigs. So. Well, the very comments that you made there and what you said uh, last, um, well, two weeks ago in the last meeting along similar lines are the reason for the presentation that I made at the um, large uh, planning commission meeting when I talked about the precautionary principle. Mm -hmm. I think there is a legitimate place to activate a precautionary principle that says that when it is as up in the air as some of these things are, then you simply err on the side exactly. of precaution sure. and go for the protection because you can always back off from that but it's darn hard to go the other way and and the very thing you've said with the multiple is a precautionary kind of thing we're in touch with lots of other counties and lots of other people in other counties and we went down to um, wells on the night when they were reviewing the proposal that was in front of them and 
Boy, you talk about a meeting that you'd rather not been out on the floor in. That was, <laughs> that was certainly one. And, but yet, uh, it dawned on me, and I think I leaned over to Joanne at the time and said, oh my goodness, this is something I hadn't thought of. APEC, who, who bought that uh, project uh, essentially from, in this case, and I'm not bringing them up because, to make a point, but they bought that essentially from Wynn Capital. Um, they, there were a lot of concerns, and APEC comes in and says, well, we've solved all this. And when you look at how they solved it, they went from about a 420 uh, five foot tall arrangement to a 496 foot tall, but by doing that, they can put on a lot larger generator with longer blades and all that. Well, that's okay, but the problem is that if your setback doesn't have some sort of a multiple in it, you're fried right then. And the big money guys can come in and do that kind of thing. So I think the precautionary principle just makes tons of sense. I'm not going to labor it. I talked yeah. about it then and handed no, out we copies. We but, appreciate it. You know. Henry, did you have anything to tell us today? Any more words of wisdom? Well, I got a couple of questions. One was the complaint procedure. Has that been ironed? No, no. In fact, we haven't. In fact, we, we actually haven't sat down and talked about the complaint procedure okay. yet. When you were I, I think it's David. and I think I think it's in you know certainly in my notes here somewhere. Okay. How do you how do you deal with complaints? Is wasn't that in my yeah. thing? Yeah. And I and I apologize for not coming up with that. But it, it does have to be addressed, Henry. We know yeah. that. Okay. If, and the, uh, if it's the, not, you, you it's going to be cast You mentioned the, uh, the, the transportation and, and how it's in the ordinance so far as the, the fines and what have you. That's all going to be for overweight vehicles, those permit costs. Those are going to be defined, right? They're not going to be loosey-goosey like they are in the ordinance. You know, Henry, I, I don't... I don't know how to answer that one. Okay. And, and you well, know, come on, let, let, let's call a spade a spade here. I, I, I don't know that we'll ever get to that point. Y yeah. You know, yeah. see what I'm saying? But things we, we have need to be done prior to the... Got to be done prior to a petition. Yeah. Right. Well, I understand that. Yeah. I understand okay. that. But I think we take this one step at a time and, you know, and maybe, well... My understanding that would be in the transportation. Yeah. Five or six pages, what it is, what the limit is, what roads you'll take, how you're going to yeah, do Yeah, those, those what dollar amounts replace. have to be yeah, in there. Yeah, they have to be in there. At that you point, don't do right? it. And today it yet. doesn't look that way. Sure. And if you do it again, the fine will be doubled, I don't know what it yeah. is. And, I would and you're right, if we don't have a complaint procedure, then it's nobody's. Yeah. Or it's somebody else. So and the other you're right. is the uh, the GPS interference, the, the private piece that that needs to be yeah, logical. We, we, we talk, I mean, I, I don't know that, I mean, I can tell you, us three have never publicly discussed it. I, I've talked about it, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm not sure who you're hurting there. Uh, well, you take the farmer that's putting in drainage tile on the GPS. Absolutely. Well, aren't the tractors? Aren't some tractors run by GPS? Oh, absolutely. So, so, so I mean, he's doing this. They're hurting them. They're they're hurting themselves if they don't. If they wouldn't want to go along with some kind of yeah. protection there. I I don't disagree. It's 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just thinking, you know, let's get the battle over with, and then we can deal with some skirmishes. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to put it. So. Gear done, so to speak. Gear done. <laughs> well, now let's let's visit that for a second. I know we're all sick of wind cap or wind capital. I'm sorry, I don't mean to wind say power. wind capital. We're all sick of wind power, and we all want this to go away. But I heard Mr. Rethlight this morning or this afternoon in your conversation about bonds, and your comment, sir, was that let's not be hasty about doing this. This is a lot of dollars, and we need to do this correctly. And I would say to you, this is a lot more important than dollars. This is about people's lives, and this is a good 50-year deal if, yeah. if somebody comes in here. So yeah. I understand yeah. we're all tired of it, and I want it behind me as much as you do. But we need to make sure that we do it correctly. Why do you think we're taking extra time? <laughs> this yeah. isn't a, don't let me, you walk out the door and think, but this is a hasty decision on my part. I if don't. we did it, we would have voted on it a month ago. 
We thought maybe you loved the pain. <laughs> yeah. But I think I think Joanne's point's right and Henry we, we have there are some issues here we haven't dealt with yet. I'm just not sure where they come down the line in in how we deal with them. So that might be in the massaging part. I so move. I will throw in one more thing. If you any I mean, if we're not in German, you go ahead and talk. Any questions, feel free to call. Okay. How